what's up YouTube uh, this is MC flow here and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the razor um, Naga molten edition and it's not really a special edition because you can get it anywhere off of Amazon I don't think they're gonna get rid of it soon so this is part of the razor Naga series and they have buttons on the side cool stuff razor makes some pretty good shit so Let's get down to on opening it. I know you don't like looking at the box that much because you can just see it when you get it, but let's see if we can zoom in there. I guess not. Definitely do that. So yeah, just I guess pause the video. You can take a look at all about what it says on the side here. I'm not going to really get too uh, keen on it. There's the back. It just tells you what's there. So yeah, and it just tells you about the I guess the owner of the company. Right there, and shows you a picture of, I guess, the keyboard it goes with. So let's get to opening this box. Right? Yeah. And so let's see. Let's see if I can get a, a zoom in on that. Don't have the best zoom. I had it. There it is. Okay. So first thing, I always hate opening these boxes. Let's see if I can find some here. I got a pair of scissors over here. Let's see this. So I guess once I do that, I think you're good. You can also, they also have this little feature where you can open it up like that. But I just want to get into the mask. We can show you the inside in a little bit. So once you do that, you're going to pop the, god damn it, stupid zoom. There you go. So you're going to pop the lid. Let's get in here. And right here is your mouse. And on the back, you have, I think, let's see what this is. You've got a little sticky thing. Keep it in place. So you got your, yes. sticky thing right here. I kind of just ripped it open. So you're not going to need the plastic anymore. So it says right there on the back. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I just had it. For gamers, by gamers. www.razorzone.com And on the front you have a picture of the Razor logo. So let's get into opening, opening it. So, right here you got all these little cards, I'm guessing there's going to be stickers and stuff, but you have all these Certificate of Authenticity, I guess the, maybe that's for the, I don't know, maybe the, what should I call it, warranty, but right here you got stickers, stuff you can put on the buttons of your mouse so you know where you're feeling, you got, let's see, right here you got square ones, you can't, probably can't show you the texture with this. Yeah, because it's a little too close and the camera's not the best, but we can zoom in right there. So these are just square, these are circle-ish, so you, I guess you can get a feel for where the buttons are when you need to, I guess, use the, whatever you call it, to bind them to different keys. I don't know what all these are, it's a bunch of razor stuff, my uh, zoom is horrible. Uh, stickers you can put on your laptop, maybe bike helmet, scooter helmet, whatever you want to do. Put on your door. Uh, you have a little I think, manual, maybe, and more of these books. Books. So let's get to the mouse. I'll put all that crap back together later. This is the mouse itself, right here, and I guess. See me. I don't actually care. So you're gonna take off this plastic here, and the mouse should just pop out really, really nice to feel. Let me just pull it out so you guys can see it. Give me one second here. Um, there we go. So we now have that out. And here is the mouse right. Had it, Jesus. There we go. 
So you can already see it's kind of got the design coming in, and there are your buttons on the side. The click is really nice, and it's got a really nice surface, so you might wear it down over time. you got plastic on the back, you can always remove that, so I guess I'll do that right now. And there it has it, there's your back. Um, you got your, I don't really know what that is, but you got rubber around the outside, let's let it focus in. Okay, you got rubber around the outside, and yeah, really awesome scrolling wheel, I think that should light up once we plug it in, so, and, let's see if it'll capture it again, there we go, it really, like I can, I have a small, a smallish hand, so I can always connect to it, or get to all the keys, and you have two buttons up here, which kind of going to be hard to get to, but yeah, and let's get this thing hooked up to my Mac. Oh, and the cable right here. Let's see if we can zoom in on the cable. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Might be able to do that. Yep, yeah, there you go. You can see it's, it's threaded kind of different than other cables. Let's try it again. A little bit threaded here, so it'll definitely, like military grade, it will hold together nicely. So let's get this stupid whatever that is out of there. Let's get this hooked up to my Mac computer, laptop, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how it does. Computer right here. Let's pull that up. And the thing I don't like about this version of Mac laptops is that all the USBs are on the other side, but it is a seven foot cable, so you should be good where wherever you're plugging it into. So let's find Oh it's it's gold USB, so it should be better. Would you look at that? That is some pretty sick shit. Let's see if it can focus in by itself. There you go. Oh, I had it. Again. There you go, guys. It pulses on its own. You don't have to move it around. You got your light up here. Come on, focus. Focus. There you go. You got your buttons on the side, uh, all through 12. And then you, I think you have more buttons. You have your clickers, and you have this one. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you have 12 over here. So that should be 17 total buttons. Really high end mouse, it pulses on its own uh, eventually. So, let's. What I should do is I will stop the video right now and continue it once I'm on the computer. So, thank you for watching the unboxing, and I will get to how to install the drivers in a minute. Um, let's let it focus. And there's your mouse, guys. Really awesome quality, and it fits perfectly for my my hand, my hand size. And you can also be down here. That's what they want you to do. But, yeah. So I'm going to stop the video right now, and we'll get to the drivers in a minute. Okay, guys. I am back, and I have installed the driver software. But just to give you a rundown of where that is, you will go into your browser. And I don't know why this is my homepage. And we are already on Google, but you can still search up Razorsupport.com. And that is the website it gives me in the notebook that they gave me called Master Guide. And once you are here, I guess this is not the right area, so I'll just look it up on the Google homepage if I can get there. So this is really newbie, but I'm going to type in Google because I feel like it on Google. And now I'll go to Razor support and it should just pop up here good you good downloads and it will pump with this come up with this page you have your Mac stuff right here and you'll just click for details and you have your PC stuff right here you'll click for details the one I needed was Mac so once you do that go ahead and wait till all this loads up here and there should be something down here once it loads that says um, whatever it says, it should say download down there. That's still loading, so give me a second here.
So you're going to click here for details. That should load down here. All right, there you go. There's the download button. I don't know why it wasn't loading before, but there it is. You'll click that. It'll download all this crap for you. You'll follow the process. Maybe you need to type in an administrator name for your computer or whatever. And once you get that installed, it'll ask you to restart your computer. And once that, you have that, you should have a little button up here. Or if you're on a PC, I don't know where it would be. Maybe it would be a little icon on the side. So I have not created an account yet. So I will get right back to you after I create an account. Okay, guys, I am back, and I have created a new account for Razer. And once it, once you, if you don't have an account, then you click Create Account, throw in all your info. It'll send a, so use your email address that you can access. It'll send it to your mail, and you click a link to confirm that it's yours. So now I am logging in, and the Razer Naga is detected. It's downloading whatever it needs to do down here. Oh, it is installing it. Wow, this mouse is amazing. <laughs> all right, so you have all your button button binds here. You have the DPI dots per inch. I think that's what it stands for. Yeah, dots per inch acceleration. You guys can mess around with all of this. You got lighting, so you can turn off the scroll wheel lighting if you want. So mine just turned off. You can turn off the logo lighting if you want depending on what your preference is but the one you really want is to customize it however you want so this is your button one and button one is this one so that's just left click right click in your scroll wheel you don't really want to mess with those unless you're an extreme gamer the the buttons you do want to mess with for um are these side buttons we'll get to those in a second four and five are these two side ones they're pretty hard to reach so wouldn't suggest messing around with those either six and seven are scroll up scroll down so let's go to the side view and these are all your buttons on the side one through twelve now I already have this binded to the number one on my um, numbers above my letters but you can bind them to anyone you want I'm just gonna keep them like this for now because I do play Minecraft and it's easier to at to access my inventory just click the buttons on the side if you're a WoW gamer or, or a LOL gamer League of Legends then you will definitely need to use this for MMO gaming. You can also do it to the number pad if you are playing on a PC. And yeah, this is how you install the drivers guys. I really hope you enjoy my video and the unboxing from earlier in the video. Please do subscribe and I will leave it at that. Thank you guys. This is MC Flow signing off.